they are. So got the really long one that goes all the way down there to the floor, and the medium one and the short one. If I pull on the end, they begin to look like they are the same size. And this is not an optical illusion. Uh, fortunately for me, it, it kind of looks like one, though. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what that means. I'll make it easier for you to follow, though. Watch this end here, and watch that end there. So you find if I cross those two ends together and I give them a little squeeze, they actually melt together into one really long piece of rope. It gets even stranger. We'll take the two ends, and I'll place the ends over here in my pocket. Now, if the ends are over here in my pocket, it's impossible to get an end to jump through the rope to there, the other end over there leaving the middle. <laughs> One rope left. Obviously, the challenge is to get this last rope to work its way into the long one. You'll see this rope gets shorter as that one gets longer. That one gets shorter. The other one gets longer. In fact, it just keeps getting shorter and shorter until all that's left is that little knot. And then when the knot goes away, you well, you have a rope. Now, <laughs> you might remember a second ago when I had the ends. And I put the ends over here in my pocket, the end came popping out there. You can't do that if the ends are still in your pocket, though, because then you have a rope that has three ends, and it bothers engineers. <laughs> so I'll give the rope another shake. That's four ends. That's two ropes. Didn't start with two ropes and four ends. We actually had six ends, and we had three ropes. Well, that's what we finished with, the three ropes that you examined at the... Oh, wait, they look different at the beginning. I think I remember. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, you had the small one, right? You had the medium. You had the big one. That's the, the rope trick. Did you see the money one? The trick? The yeah. Okay, so you didn't see. You didn't see anything. I'll show. You. Let me do the marked cards for you first, and then I'll do the money trick. This is a deck of marked cards, like cheaters use. It's usually more subtle. Just so you know. <laughs> I, want you to, I want you to think that you've got a, a secret advantage here. Those are actually edge markings. They call them edge markings because they're on the side, obviously. Uh, it is a full deck. They're all here, all mixed up. Red, black, high, low, odds and evens. I wouldn't show you if it weren't important. <laughs> Richard, do me a favor, say stop. I'll show everyone Richard's card. Ask everyone to help you remember it. And then I'll lose it by giving the deck what we here at Tektronix call an unshuffle. Actually, the full name is a Tektronix RSA 5000 unshuffle. And we call it that because the cards come together in the same way that the Tektronix RSA 5,000 brings together reduced time to insight and lower costs. Oh, and look at that. The little markings actually begin to read. It's the subliminal. Okay, I probably shouldn't mention that. <laughs> Let him get the close-up. There you go. <laughs> four, four times. I'll give them a second unshuffle. And this is where it gets really weird. You wouldn't think this would happen, but after the second unshuffle, the little markings now say Tektronix RSA. 5,000 only twice. It's like the opposite of math or something. Okay, just the theory. I'll give him one last unshuffle with any kind of luck and about 20 years of doing this trick. Each and every card will be perfectly and completely unshuffled. Now, when I say that they're unshuffled, I mean not only does it say Tektronix RSA 5,000 only once, which is kind of cool, they really are unshuffled now. They're back in perfect order. Ace, the King of Hearts, Flow, Diamonds. You're all nodding like you see this all the time. <laughs> that's cool, that's hard. <laughs> oh, but I do, I do still have to find your card, so I'll snap my fingers, wave my hand, it'll rise up to the top of the deck. What was your card? The Ace of Hearts, proving that here in Tektronix. Oh, eight. Oh, eight. I'm sorry, I misheard. Did I t talk about the troubleshooting? <laughs> Troubleshoot. No, no, if you guys want the Eight of Hearts, don't worry. We have exactly what you need at Tektronix. We'll give you the uh, Eight of Hearts. They don't pay me to make mistakes, you guys. All right, we'll do the money, and then you guys are free to go. Actually, we have some good things we're giving away. We're giving away these cool little rulers. Let me show you one of those little rulers that have a, a fraction to decimal, and they also have the hats. Did you guys get the hats? Yeah, they already got the hats, so you guys got to get the hats. Time for the money trick. Everyone's talking about the money tough <coughs> economic times right now. Everyone's uh, cutting back. They have smaller budgets. I have one, two, three, four, five hundred dollars. That's sort of my budget whenever I travel. My wife gives me the same expense money. I was going to say allowance, but that would be a little too embarrassing. Um, but think about it. You know, your budgets are tighter. You still expect it, on the other hand, to get those same kind of results that your company has expected <coughs> from you, and that's why we want you to come and visit us here at Tektronix. We can help you to get that big return on investment that you're looking for. We, no, we can do it. Do you have a dollar? I'll do it, do it with yours. <laughs> do, you have, do you have a buck, Richard? I'll, I'll do it with yours. 
going to have you sign your name on it so we know it belongs to you. Uh, if you have not gotten your badge scanned yet, they are moving around and doing that. Go ahead and write your name on it or your, your initials or something. i uh, got a nice big pen there so they can see it. And so I can make a joke about how you're breaking the law. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> big letters, big letters. And then I'll take the pen. Show everyone your initials. Fold the dollar in half. Fold it again. Just keep folding it and... Uh, until I find what I'm looking for. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I have a little piece of tissue paper, a couple of empty hands. We're going to wrap Richard's bill, bill inside the little piece of tissue paper. Now, there's a little bit of danger in this, Richard. I'd wait until now to mention it, because now it's too late. <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry. The nice people at Tektronix have given me some insurance. If anything goes wrong, you know, we've got the... Okay, he's not wearing running shoes. You can hang on to that. <laughs> Slows down the show when you have to trace, chase him, though. The money's going to represent the investment that your organizations make in the high technology that we sell here at Tektronix, whether it's oscilloscopes, whether it's signal analyzers. We realize that money is important because no one has money to burn these days. It's that analogy that I'm doing. You have a 20? It's funny worth a 20. Uh, <laughs> I can't get that 20. Don't worry, you've come to the right place here at Tektronix. In fact... When it comes to delivering confidence to confront the most challenging microwave and RF designs, you have come to the right place. Can you feel something right there in the middle? That's a good sign. Folks, when it comes to solutions that help you for testing, measurement, and monitoring, we really do give you more for your money right here at Tektronix. Now, I don't want you to feel disappointed. Uh, we really can still turn this one into 100. But you have to talk to the sales guys now. There's a slightly different process. You're probably familiar with it. Thanks for visiting us here at Tektronix. We have some great demos set up all around the four different booths.